Cheers. It's a beautiful day. It's cold is what it is. Yeah, well, welcome to Scotland. Are you finished cleaning the car yet? Yeah. Thanks for the help, by the way. It's no rush, man. Fancy the lie-in after last night. Glad you had fun. What, you saying you didn't? I don't know, mate. It's losing the appeal. <laughs> you just don't like going second. <laughs> Is the car spotless? CSI wouldn't find a thing, mate. Cool. I'll do it inside in a bit, then we can move on. Where are we heading? Grab the map. Could you not use your phone? Tommy, if I could get a signal in my phone out here, I'd be in the toilet having a wank right now. Fine. You sure you can read that thing? I am no woman, Thomas. People have forgotten self-sufficiency. We're too reliant on phones. What if it dies or it breaks or you have to toss it so you can't be tracked? What are you going to do then? You're Scotland. It's not that big, mate. The Highlands are over 16,000 square miles, mate. I've seen you get lost in the supermarket. So, Columbus, where are we? So, we're here right now. If we drive past this village, past the next couple of jobs, park up here, we'll double back in the motor, hit a couple of big country houses, both remote, nothing but a bunch of rich old inbreds too cheap to set up any decent security. How much you reckon we'll get? Yeah, we're going for cash only, but I figure we're looking at 100k easy. See, some of these old boys are traditionalists and they hate banks. Always pays to have paper money to hand if you need it. Good. And that's it for Scotland. Yeah, we've walked our way across and we don't want to push our luck. Park up at the new spot, scout for a couple of weeks. I'd say three to four weeks and we're done here. Good, good. I could do with a holiday. Get a bit of sun. You've got sun, mate. Yeah, but it's minus five. Soft southern shit. I just want to get a feeling back in me dick, mate. Well, we can hit a couple of the villages near the new parking spot. Look for some local talent. That'll get it going again. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why is that? Well, look, the first couple of times they were fun, yeah? But this one could really come back to bite us on the arse, mate. I mean, what if we get found out? You know who's going to find out? <sighs> it's an unnecessary distraction. Tommy, I've been travelling around with you alone in the car for three months. Either we get some fucking skirt, or I'm going to start looking at you funny. Getting it is one thing, but it's how we're doing it. You've got a conscience there, big man. Look, I, I could not give a shit, mate. But we have to be careful. I mean, what point if these women remember something? Well then, we've got a heap of trouble. And what are they going to remember, eh? They ain't going to know the name of their dog after the shit we've pumped them full of. God, shite you may be, Nate. But a doctor or pharmacy, you are not. I just don't... Don't like it when it... when they're like that, you know? It was to light, you stick it in and that's it. She wasn't even awake. Yeah, but most birds fall asleep when you're shagging them anyway. <laughs> Look, we're not a couple of saints here, man, all right? The reason we've gotten away with it for so long is because we're good at it. So where's that bird? I put on the bath, she's been spewing again. She best not die. She'll be fine. We'll just double back, dump her in the village. Someone will pick her up. She won't remember a thing. You use a rubber. Aye, I'm not thick. You sure about that? For fuck's sake. Go on. Get after her then, clever bollocks. I ain't got any trainers on, man. Come on, go after her. Go on. Oh, prick. <sighs> Come on. My nan runs faster than that and she's got a wooden leg. Fuck me. <sighs>
Let's skinny dip. Are you crazy? Yeah, you better believe it. You go. If you want hypothermia, be my guest. It's about 10 degrees right now. The water is probably barely above freezing. Come on, live a little. That's my point, Andrea. I'd like to live long enough to finish this trekking holiday. We still got 80 miles left to do. We still got 80 miles left to do. <laughs> Let's cover another 10 miles today before we set up camp. And then we can wake up early tomorrow and hit another village another 10 miles away. Who died and made you scout leader? I'm sorry, but we have to be practical. Look, I planned the trip. I invited you, but I want you to let loose a bit. I want you to go headfirst into the unknown. You need it. I don't need it. I need... Sex. Three bounces! Boom! <laughs> Andrea, take a look. I reckon we're here. We go across to here, save four hours to make good time, camp for the night, and then wake up early to make it in time for lunch at this little village here, which is halfway between where we are now and that old farmland you wanted to visit. That sounds like a plan. I'm sorry if I'm getting a bit bossy sometimes. I just feel like you whisked me away for this. And I was reluctant, kind of standoffish. I just want to be involved, not just follow you blindly. Look, I got it, Jess. Don't worry. Just remember, this is about having fun, too. I plan on letting go of all my inhibitions on this trip. I'm gonna let loose. Fucking hell. <laughs> Calm down, babe. This is why people have sat maps and mobile phones. It's the 21st century. See, that's a bullshit attitude. People just don't want to get their hands dirty anymore. Engage their logic a bit. I can't believe I let you persuade me into leaving my fucking phone behind. Because you can't properly escape and, like, switch off otherwise. Anyway, you'd spend half the time climbing hills trying to get a signal. Trust me. Old school is the best way. If we get any problems, we can use this. You know, if we need a helicopter to winch us out of a raven or something. That's reassuring. <laughs> I guess we better get walking. We got a lot of ground to cover.
amazing. Thank you, Andrea. For what? For dragging me out of my rut and bringing me here. I didn't get why you picked Scotland, of all places. But now that I'm here, it's pretty cool. Once we set up camp, we can toast. Really? Hey, when in Rome? We're not in Rome. <laughs> hey, do you see this? What? <laughs> There's a guy watching us. Oh, well, that's creepy. He's even got binoculars by the looks of it. Are you sure we should camp here tonight? Maybe we should double back half a mile or so. Hell no. It's just some nosy asshole farmer or something. <laughs> Come on. That's enough. Enjoy the view, buddy. Jesus, you're crazy. <laughs> He waved. What a dick. Having fun? What? I probably made his day. Real classy, Andrea. Hey, listen. If you've got it, flaunt it. I'll get you stripping off before this trip is over. Okay, well, now I'm disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to lower ground and set up the tent. That'll put hairs on your chest. That'll improve my love life. It might. I'm gonna write this weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been caught up in my own thoughts. I've not even asked you if you're enjoying the trip so far. Of course I am. I just feel like I'm a stick in the mud. A third wheel. <laughs> a third wheel? When there's two of us. <laughs> More scotch for me. <laughs> I just don't want you to feel like I'm a burden. Jess, I asked you here for a reason, okay? I want you here. I wouldn't have come without you. I wouldn't have taken no for an answer. I don't get it. What's the get? Well, we recently reconnected after high school, but aside from partnering up in study hall, we, well, we didn't really spend much time. Yeah, but look, you got me through. Look, my ass barely scraped through those fucking exams enough to get me into college. I know high school cliques and politics made things difficult before, but now you see me in a coffee shop and you know what you did? You were just natural. <laughs> you were warm. You made conversation. And you didn't look down on me. I saw people I considered closer friends from high school at my job in their fancy suits. And they either looked down on me, or worse, with pity. Because you know what? People, people are shit. Well, I thought you were cool then, and I still do. <laughs> I'm glad. Everyone has two faces, you know, but I feel like you're someone without a nasty one. <laughs> you see the good in people, pure of heart. Yeah, you've had too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, I'm serious. 
Are you happy with her plan? You know me. I like to wing it. So as long as we're not too rigid, there's just that one farm I want to see. The one you saw in the picture. It was years ago, but it always stuck with me. It's not the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, but it's like a mission I have to complete. Shall we go to bed? A little long day ahead tomorrow. Sure. There's gotta be a bar opening soon. I'd Google it if I had my phone. <sighs> Dickhead. Why do you want a bar? Let's find a local Walmart and grab some food. Walmart? Where do you think we are, babe? This is rural Scotland. You know what I mean, like a grocery <sighs> store? Mm, I don't know about that. There might be a small one, but there's gotta be a bar opening soon, and I want a drink and some local cuisine. Fine. But we're in, out, and on our way. Sure. Just a quick beer. You want some food? No. What are you after? Drinks. We don't do cocktails here, ladies. <laughs> you do beer, though, yes? Yes. Do you do food? Hi. Where's the menu? <laughs> Beer's fine. I'll have half of something light. Uh, we'll have two pints of something local. Local? The Irish, not the Australian, not the English. Just two pints of your cheapest. Cheapest. English. Typical. You find a seat and I'll bring them over. Chief, you want a couple of pints? Forget it. Come on, now, Tommy. It's time for the charm offensive. Oh, charm, is that what you're calling it now? <laughs> Six pound. You're in, Tommy. No. 
I ain't got the time. Meek team. Look, we've got work to do. That takes planning, mate. We don't need a distraction, not even a welcome one. Mate, if anyone needs it, it's you. Uptight or what? They're fit, aren't they? All right, so Leslie on the charm. If that doesn't work, we'll speed things along. You in? Good. All right. Relax, Jess. Trina. Hey, mind if we join you? Looks like you already have. Oh, you're American. Good spot. I'm Andrea, and this is Jessica. Awesome. So I take it you boys are local? Nah, well, yeah, I'm from Scotland, but from Glasgow. Thomas is from London. Yeah, we're just south of London, actually. So, you American too? Yeah. So, are you guys just passing through? Aye. That means yes. Yeah, I got that. So what about you two? We're trekking across the highlands. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's brave. They're bigger than people think. 16,000 square miles, apparently. Is it just the two of you? Yep, just us. Nice. So, you got time to stick around for a bit? No. Sorry. We need to make time up. No, we can stay a bit. Me and Tommy travel a lot for work. Last few weeks we've been across the north of the Highlands, so it's nice to run into a couple of human beings that aren't half dead. <laughs> yeah, we're the same so far. If you don't mind me saying, you are both absolutely stunning. I don't mind at all. Andrea, mm. I have a word quickly. Just a second. <laughs> okay, what's the problem? These guys are a pair of assholes. We've just met them. Yeah, well, I know the type. The type? The type that invite themselves to sit down at your table. Oh, come on. Just have some fun. I want to go walking again. Please. Let's go. Look, you know which way we're heading, right? Yeah. So, either stay with me and scam a few free drinks off these two morons, or go ahead and wait, but I'm staying. Andrea. I'm staying. Handsome. Where were we? Where's your friend? Oh, forget her. She's in a rush to get back out in the fields, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, heading up the road. Need to get some oil for the car. Uh, I'll be back in five minutes. So, she won't be coming back. Probably not. You may as well have a drink too, then. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky us, eh? 
Hmm. So, where are you staying? Uh, we've got a little cottage about six miles out. Why? Just curious. <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, will I? <laughs> oh, yeah. You all right? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's a radio. In case we get caught in a ravine. <laughs> a ravine? Yeah. I need to get winched out. <laughs> you do realize that winching means something else in these parts. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Go on then. Do tell. Well, it means a snog. <laughs> really? No bullshit. Well, if I need a winch, I'll know who to radio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, you gotta keep pace. <laughs> I'm just gonna go powder my nose. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy, babe. <laughs> How about you? Take it easy, babe. <laughs> okay. I'll keep pace with you. What do you want? You're following me, why? It seems to me like your friend and my friend are getting on pretty well together, so I figured... Figured what? That we double date? Look, if you don't want to chat, that's fine. But I just think you should stay. I'm going. Hey, you don't fancy a little company, do you? <laughs> if you see any good company around, you be sure to let me know. You're not as much fun as your mate.
stop it. Just tell me where you want to go and I'll drive you there. It's no trouble. No. Look, just come with me to the car. Save yourself the walk. Leave me alone. You okay, miss? Yeah. Just passing through. I'm okay. What's up with your friend? I don't know him. Watch yourself around here. This isn't a tourist village. Like I said, I'm just passing through. A lot of people just passing through lately. He's not local? No. Oh, seen him and his friend around the village the last few days, but they're not local. Look like a couple of idiots. Where are you heading? East, past here. The old Norris Farm estate? Yeah. There's not much to see up there. Not far, some nice lakes. Quicker to go through the valley. Watch, though, it's quite marshy. Keep on the outside of it. Through the old rail yard, that should bring you back down to the old Norris Farm estate. Thanks. See you later. See my friend. Your friend? How the hell would I know where she is? I left her here four hours ago. She was with two guys. I left a couple of hours ago. Together? How would I know? I was out back, came in, and they were gone. Well, did you catch what they were planning? Planning? What about the fucking Stasi? Do you have cameras here? I ain't got no cameras, miss. Sorry. Well, what can I do? I'm worried. Can I use your phone? What? What do you want my phone for? To call the cops. After three hours. Listen, Flower. You're beginning to get my nerves now. 
Are you going to order a drink or not? What about the cops? The police. The police are a waste of time. You've got to come up from the nearest big town. It's over 50 miles away and that'll not be till tomorrow. See that guy over there? John Beck. He's a cop. He's a cop? Aye, go bug him. You. Sorry to disturb you. What do you want? My friend's gone. I And I can help you how? Because you're a cop. Who told you that? The barman. I'm not. Well, why did he tell me that you were? I was a cop. I left the force ten years ago. I'm worried. I don't know what to do. You're meeting her, right? Yeah. Harrison's viewpoint. Well, you're not going to get there before dark. I'm worried about those guys. The guys? There was something funny about them. Well, I saw them leaving when I got here. Was Andrea with them? I didn't see her. She must have left. Wouldn't surprise me if you passed her on the way. Look, she'll get to the viewpoint, find that you're not there, and double back when she can't find you. Be dark in a couple of hours. Look, where were you staying tonight? Had you planned? Yeah. In between here and the farm. Either in a tent or a bothy. Have you got a map? Yeah. We'll get it out. Right. So, there's the bothy here, and it's at the midpoint between here and where you're going. Right. Off you go. Don't want to still be walking around up there when darkness falls. What if she's not there? Well, then it's best to look again in the morning. Chances are she'll get to where you're going. I don't suppose you could give me a lift. I'm meeting someone here in half an hour. I haven't got the time. Sorry. Fine. Thank you. I hope you find her. Thanks.
Where are you? Sorry I left you.
Hi Tommy mate, it's Nate. Um, I blew a fucking tyre a couple of miles up the road so I'm running a little bit late. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit up the nearest garage and see if I can get it swapped out for another one. Uh, and then I may as well just scout the next target while I'm here. So I need you to make sure that the girl's dozed up alright. Uh, and yeah, text me back to confirm once you've done it okay, as soon as possible. I reckon we need to move on tonight man, so we'll clear up the cottage, we'll dump her and that's us. Alright, see you in a bit mate.
that thing. You fucking stupid bitch. What the hell did you do? Me? Where is she? Who? Where the hell is Andrea? What did you do to her? You tell me. Stop playing around. I'm not playing around. What happened to the bag that was under the bed? Stop! Enough! Where's Andrea? Did she take it? What? The fucking money. I don't know about your fucking money. I just got here. You just got here? Yeah. Yeah, bullshit. So you didn't kill Tommy. That's not his blood all over you. He was already half dead when I arrived. There was nothing I could do. Andrea did it. No. She wouldn't. Ah, yeah? Says who? I don't think you know your friend as well as you think you do. Don't. I'm warning you. She was here when I left, right? And now she's gone. And there's two dead bodies and a missing bag full of our money. So you do the math there, Jessica. What did you do to her? It's none of your business. We are two consenting adults. And what about her? Looks like you knew her as well. Yeah, I've seen her before. But I didn't kill her. <laughs> Neither did Tommy. 
What I'm trying to work out is how she ended up in that wardrobe when I last saw her 50 miles from here. Bullshit, you killed her. <sighs> How'd you even know she's dead? Check her pulse, did you? Don't move. Of course she's dead. Use your nose, you daft bitch. Andrea mentioned something about some farm. What farm? Fuck you. I just want my money. She's still breathing, she's still got my money. You don't know. Did you two know anyone else around here? The only explanation is there's no Andrea and no money. Now, she might have seen me or Tommy near the bag and knew where it was. She's gone, it's gone. She might wait around for you. I'm not telling you. So you got a choice now, Jessica. You can tell me where you and Andrea were both headed, and when we find her, I'll let you both go. <laughs> I might break her fucking nose first, but I'll let you both go. Or... East. Heston on the rail yard. All right, get in the car, we're going. Listen, I can't keep pointing this gun at you, Jess, but I'd like a little assurance you're not going to piss around and try something stupid. I'm not. I just want to find Andrea. Good. Because if we can be civil about this, it makes it easier for both of us. I'll get my money and I'll get out of your way. Fine. So where are we headed? The rail yard is here, and the farmland is here. What, well, and this farm's vacant, is it? That's what Andrea said. You got any binoculars? Yeah. Either you're looking at my gun or my dick. Either way, I'm not in the mood for you to make a grab for it. You're a pig. That's what they tell me. Hey, where are you going? We're playing the trust game, remember? I'm gonna get my binoculars. It's truce, not trust. Just remember that. you and Tommy do to Andrea to the other girl listen I'm guessing you've already come to the conclusion I'm a no good piece of shit right pretty much yeah yeah good so let's just leave it at that yeah What's your story then? Me? Yeah. All places, why did you guys come here? It was under his idea. <laughs> Christ, I'll be honest. From my brief exchanges with both of you, you seem like the smart one. Don't talk about my friend like that. Why did you go along with it then? We reconnected recently. I've been wanting to travel around. I shouldn't have left her. 
No, you shouldn't. Because I'll be honest, two girls would have been difficult. Tommy, you'd have tried to talk me out of it. And your winning personality would probably have killed the mood. Fuck you. What do you gain from this? From any of it? Listen, I'm not going to say anything that you'll understand. I'm not going to justify why we're here or what we're doing. What about your friend? He's dead. You don't seem cut up about it. How do I know you won't be looking to get back at Andrea? Because if I was going to kill you, I'd just fucking say it. I'm going to waste my time sweet-talking you into a false sense of security. Do I blame her for taking an opportune moment to stick a blade in Tommy? Nah. We're all humans. We'd all do the same. So would you. But if and when we find Andrea, you best talk some sense into her. I just want the money. I've already got one fucking dead body to dispose of, and I still would mind an explanation. Yeah. Why are we stopping here? Why not go straight into the farm? Because what if she hears a car approach and runs? Maybe she's not alone. Listen, I ain't going anywhere near that farm until we do a proper scout of the area and know what we're going into. All right, come on, it's just up beyond those woods. Binoculars. Please, would be nice. I don't see any signs of life. Oh, wait, there's a guy. Are you sure it's not Andrea? Unless he's put on 50 pounds and grown a fucking beard, I would have thought so. I can't really see what he looks like right now. Get back. What is it? I thought he was looking. So what do we do? We need to draw him out. How? I've got an idea, right? You stay here and stay hidden. When he comes out, go up to the house and try and find Andrea. What if he doesn't come out? He will. It's too dangerous. Just do it. All right, go in the house, try and find Andrea, and get my money, and then double back to the rail yard. I'll take care of this guy. Okay. And don't do a runner with my money. I, I won't. All right, stay hidden.
I don't know who you are, but you best turn around and go back where you came from. I know you're here. I can see your car. I know who you are. I've seen you two around town. Is it the pair of you? Or just the one? Fuck. Put it down. I don't suppose you know anything about a missing girl, do you? Andrea? No idea. You tell me. You best take it easy there, pal. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> what? It's a bit of a coincidence. 
You're holed up in a farmhouse these two girls are headed to. You're not interested in the girls. I bumped into your mate. You barely even know them. Tommy. It was you at the cottage. I met him in the road, following that poor lass. Turn around. We're going to take a little walk back to the farm. You're making a mistake. Where's John? John? He's at the rail yard. Why? He rescued me from... from those two. The guys at the bar? Yeah. Look, we need to go. Why? What's wrong? There's something not right about this guy. Okay. I just need to find something first, okay? I was drowsy. Don't worry, okay? We're going soon.
Hoping to find, mate. All this nonsense, and you're just gonna end up dead. I want to find my bag. The one you took. After you killed Tommy. Who? You do that again, son. I'll fucking kill you. What did you do? I could. 
couldn't help it. She found our letters. She was mine. You were supposed to bring her to me. But it was but nothing. John, please calm down. Did you really think that I wanted you? You said you loved me. You were so proud of yourself about the way you played Jessica. You didn't realize I was playing you. I didn't have to do any work. I get two little girls come straight to my fucking door. 